What's up everyone? It's Sydney and this is your 30 minute cardio superset workout. So grab your mat and let's get started. What's up everyone? I'm so excited that you're here today. No equipment needed for this cardio workout. We're gonna be rocking in supersets and more specifically, three minute AMRAPs. So we'll have three minutes on the clock. I'll give you two exercises. We're gonna do eight reps of one, eight reps of the other at your pace, as many rounds as you can in that three minutes. Then we'll have a one minute rest where I'll show you what our next circuit is and you'll just stay moving. So 30 minutes, let's keep our heart rates up, let's work hard no matter what level you're at. I've got my water and my sweat towel here and also my bench. One of our circuits will involve a bench step up, so if you have something that you can step on top of, you can do that, or if not, I'll show you how to make it work for yourself. So, thumbs up if you're ready for this workout. Let's go right into your warm up, hinging back and forth in two, one, let's go. Great work. I thought with 30 minutes today, it's gonna be a really great workout for you to push yourself. If you need to slow it down, you've got that time. If you can speed it up, I want you to do that. Good job. Step forward with the left, back with the right, heel down, and push and stand. There you go, two more. Just opening up the ankles a little bit here, and switch. Good job, three, two, and one. Take your heels right to your glutes. Stretch out the quads. Your mission today with very similar movements is just to stay moving. So if you can intensify this a little bit, you can always make up time in the transition from one move to the other. You can always add a jump, you can always add a hop, and you can always speed it up, and you can always slow it down at the same time. Do what you need to challenge your body today. Cross your arms over your chest. Great job. And we're counting to eight today. Like I said, you'll be counting your own reps. We'll be working together right beside each other. Good job, bring it back to the back. High kicks, we're gonna go in 30 seconds so we can get as much work in as we can. Good, one more. Take it to jumping jacks. You do jumping jacks, I'm gonna show you your first two moves, lateral slides. So you touch at each end, one, two, okay? Second exercise, lateral lunge, middle hop, lateral lunge, okay? So one, two, all the way up to eight. Ready? Let's get started, here we go. Three minutes on the clock, eight slides. We need to get done with eight slides, and eight lunges that separate, separated by a hop in the middle. Looking for 25 on the clock. Good job, come on. Good work. First minute done, let's keep moving. Nice work. Second half, here we go. Three minutes, it's short for our usual AMRAP time, but we're keeping ourselves moving. Nice work, a minute 10 left. Let's go, can you get a full round in or two? Thank you. 
Good job, breathe. You've got 35 seconds left. Good job, come on. 14, just move, keep it up. Intensity is high, you've got eight. Two, one, and rest. Feel free to stay jogging in place or sliding. We've got a minute rest and we're moving into some agility work. All right, so if you're still moving, move but slow the intensity down a little bit. Agility on and off the mat. So you're gonna start two feet here, off, on. Each time you reach an edge of your mat, one. Two, okay? Right after that, you're gonna go forward and backwards. So you'll take your middle spot over, back. And if you wanna lay a towel there, just to jump over and back, you can do that as well. Some quick agility here, okay? 15 seconds, grab water if you need it. All right, let's go. Two feet on, you step two feet off to the side, back on. Each time you reach an end, that's one. Two, one, let's go. You're looking for 21 on the clock. You're watching. If not, I got you. I'll tell you where we are. Good, keep the feet moving. Agility is all about being able to switch directions quickly. Good job. There's your first minute, done. Keep it up. Here's your halfway point, 90 seconds. Turn it up, move those feet a little quicker. Nice, breathe as you move, a minute 15. Come on, breathe. I'm with you. These short, choppy movements require you to be paying attention. Keep your center of gravity between your feet. That's it, go, 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 go. Come on, you've got 30 seconds. We're done with agility for now. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Amazing work. Whew. Grab some water. Fantastic. All right, stay moving if you would like. Do something like agility, side steps. You can also just breathe and rest. Totally fine. We're gonna move into 
some standing kind of jumping jack moves. So we've got jumping jack knee drive. So you're gonna go out, one, out, two. Low impact, just tap. So every knee is one, eight total for each knee. And then we go three knee drives and switch. Each group of three is one. So you're gonna go one, 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 two, 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 three, three, all the way up to eight. Okay, 15 seconds and we will go. You're doing great. Low impact is just gonna be tap, pull, tap, pull. Five seconds. Two, one, let's go. Looking for 17 on the clock. Come on, 30 seconds down. First minute is over, minute two, let's get it. Great work. Good step, lift if you need to, keep rocking. 90 seconds to go. Woo. Remember, each set of three is a rep. Five, five, five. Just keep counting. About to jump into that last minute. Turn it up when you can. All right. One minute to go. Let's get it. Good, there we go. Perfect. 45. Come on, work for this one minute rest here in a minute. In 34 seconds, we breathe. I need you to get there in 34 seconds, completely needing that breath. Fifteen. One, and breathe. Ah, oh, great work. If you wanna stay moving, feel free to give me some jumping jacks. Jog in place. <laughs> We're moving into our circuit with the bench. So if you have a bench and you wanna pull it out, let's go ahead and grab it. All right, two exercises here. We've got a bench, knee driver right, bench, knee driver left, okay? So we're here, give me eight steps. If you need to rest at the bottom and just step up, that's also fine. If you don't have a bench, you're gonna give me lunge, drive, 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 okay? Eight on the right, eight on the left. And we go in 14 seconds, and I'm gonna get my water handy. <laughs> Ready? All right, let's go, eight on the right, Eight on the left, two, one, here we go.
Good job. Make sure your weight stays over your quad that's on the bench. There you go, hitting the quads. You're gonna feel this in the quads as well. First minute, almost done. First minute, gone. Minute number two, let's get it. If you need to dial it back and just do step ups, do it, but stay moving. There you go. Oh, I know if your quads are burning, I feel it too. Breathe and move. Come on, keep pushing a minute 15 to go. And last 60 seconds, let's rock right here. Good job, you've got just over 30 seconds, push. Ten seconds, come on. Drive, drive. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, one minute rest. Breathe deep. Active rest if you can, if you would like. And step up and down. Just breathe in 45 seconds. We're gonna go with a movement that can be on the ground or standing. Whew. Mountain climbers. I'm gonna do mine at an incline here. It's per leg. One, one, two, three, three. And then you've got kick throughs, okay? So if you can go down to the floor, all fours. Tap one, tap two. Okay, if you need a modification, take it out to the side. One, two, okay? 13 seconds, eight each leg climbers, eight total kick throughs or kick outs. Ready? Four, three, two, one, let's get it. Mountain climbers can also be here, okay? Good job, you're looking for nine minutes on the clock left. We are very close. In that bear crawl, kick through. Make sure you always come back to the quadruped position. First minute, done, minute two, let's rock.
90 seconds left on this one. to go come on you got to finish strong here I know you can and then we've got a breather and we're rocking on to our next two circuits and that'll close it out for us that's how close we are Good, 15 seconds. Three, two, one, and breathe. One minute to rest, grab some water. Ah, great job. Okay, two more circuits, we are right there. We're gonna go into a little leg push here, okay? Lunge to squat. So you're gonna take it, every squat is one you count. Here, one. Here, two, okay? If you wanna jump with that, same exact thing. Split, one, split, two. After that, you go burpee, step back to hand lift. So you can jump up and back, or you can step up and back at the top, lift your hands, okay? So you count the squats in your lunge squat, you count the hand lift in this one. And you got four, three, ready? Two, one, let's go. Great job, 30 seconds down. First minute done, minute number two, let's rock. Good, Whew, a minute 20. Come on, come on, breathe. You got one minute here. Five seconds, quads might be burning. Me too. Let's go. Twenty. 
20 seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. You got one minute of rest. And we have one final circuit. Whew. All right. Grab water. We're gonna go towel tap, up and over. So, you can have the towel, you can have the middle mark in your mat, okay? We're gonna tap as we step, sorry. Start here, tap, up, tap, up, okay? If you don't wanna touch the floor, just reach to the middle, to the sky, middle, to the sky. After that, eight kicks, forward or sideways. One, two, three, up to eight. Or you can take it four here, four here. <sighs> 10 seconds, three minutes of work left. Step over that towel. <sighs> Big deep breath, come on, I need you to go hard. Three, two, one, let's go. You can also add a jump in here, add a little skip. Eight total for each leg. It's done, let's go, minute two. Seconds, come on, second half. One minute, let's go. I need you to give me 100% of what you've got left here. 60 seconds and we are making it to our cool down. You got 30 seconds. Come on. Ten seconds. Sprint to the finish right here. Let's go. Let's go. Two, one, and rest. And you have made it to your cool down. Amazing work. Come on down to your hands and knees. <sighs> Exhale. Ah, big deep breath out. Great work today. <sighs> All right, swing your left foot up. Come straight up. Make a neutral hip. And let's shift it forward a little bit. Cooling it down. Let's get the body back to normal length tension relationships with your muscles and joints. Slow your breathing down, switch legs. 
great work today. I want you always leaving a workout knowing you gave me 100%. And it's not about me, it's about you. Knowing you give yourself 100%. If you showed up here today thinking, I don't know if I can do this, and you did it anyways, or on the contrary, you showed up thinking, let's go, bring it Sydney, what do you have for me today? In both of those situations, hips up in the middle. I want you to leave feeling proud of how hard you worked. You showed up. If you're here right now and you didn't quit, you crushed it. Whew. And that's what it's all about, consistent efforts. Showing up when it's not easy and when it is, and when you're ready to go fully. Both of those days have to have your best. Whew. Great job, slowly come up in the middle. Taking your arms up overhead, pull. And then we'll stretch the quads and glutes. And I'll let you go. Remember this workout. When you need a workout, just a good sweat. Just moving the whole time in that one minute rest where I demoed what we did next. You had that option to do some active rest, so just jogging in place. Switch sides. Make sure that when you're doing your active rest or something like that, there's a difference in your full out effort and your just kind of coasting effort. Great work. Grab onto your toe, pull your heel to your glute. And I want you to keep digging deep in something in a workout that you're really working hard to uh, perfect a movement. Switch legs. In your nutrition where you think I keep messing up, I keep going off track, dig a little bit deeper. Find out, are you justifying something that you think maybe I keep giving myself this excuse in terms of nutrition? Or in terms of fitness, do you need to work on some mobility? A lot, a lot, a lot of people don't work on mobility consistently and then have movement patterns that tend to kind of slip over into compensation efforts, right? So if my hips are really tight, for instance, I can't get that full flex on my glutes. So what might happen, I might try to arch my back. How many of you say back deadlifts, there's some discomfort there, right? It could be that hip mobility. Just an example, it's not always the case, but if you're not actively working on your mobility daily, these things can start to creep in. All right, so as you head out today, I want you to promise me at least three stretches per week, okay? If you bought the uh, Crush workout calendar, I have every single day linked with a clickable stretch. So you know, here's a stretch at Sydney Program for me to work out with this workout and this stretch today. If you didn't, there are hundreds of stretches here on the channel that you can grab at any time. Don't just stretch the areas that you feel tight. You might be missing some other areas that pain or tightness could be deferring from. All right, so whole body stretches three times a week, targeting certain areas, and then hitting the whole body as well to make sure you're giving yourself your best effort to be able to go hard in these strength workouts and these cardio workouts and everything. Your body moving well keeps you injury free. Okay, so stretching keeps you injury free in the long run. And I just want you to stay healthy so we can consistently hit this workout program. We can consistently move to keep our energy up and just stay healthy for the long term, okay? So thank you for being here with me today. I'm so proud of you. If you haven't already, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and then turn on your notifications and comment below, crush this workout. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Great job in this workout today. I'm so thankful to have had you here. If you haven't already, make sure you check out the try on haul where we launch Royal Change Apparel this week. And also make sure you stretch here and subscribe to the channel and let me know how it was today in the comments. I'll see you soon.